మహాభారత ఎపిసోడ్ ఫోర్ ద్రౌపది హెడ్ బీన్ వెయిటింగ్ ఇన్ హర్ చేంబర్స్ అట్ హస్తినపుర బ్లిస్ఫులీ అన్ అవేర్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ వాస్ ట్రాన్స్పైరింగ్ ఇన్ ద రాయల్ కోర్ట్ హౌ ఎవర్ ది అన్ప్లెజెంట్ రియాలిటీ వుడ్ సూన్ డాన్ అపాన్ హర్ వెన్ ద్రయోధనస్ కౌరవ బ్రదర్ దుస్హాసన బస్ట్ ఇన్ టు హర్ చేంబర్స్ గ్రాబ్ హర్ బై హర్ హెయిర్ and dragged her to the royal assembly helpless and shocked draupadi stood in the royal court with the kauravas on one end and her enslaved husbands on the other while the kauravas took turns in taunting her with verbal abuse deep in anguish and eyes drenched with tears draupadi looked pleadingly at her husbands but none could help her she then appealed to bhishma and kripacharya but they simply looked away draupadi then asked a question addressing the elders and members of the royal assembly she inquired whether yudhistra had wagered himself first and then lost her or vice versa because if he had wagered himself first and lost the game he had also lost the right to wager draupadi draupadi went on to also explain that she was the wife of not only yudhistra but all five pandavas did they all give their consent to yudhistra to wager draupadi in this game of dice such was the intelligent nature and validity of her questions that no one in the royal assembly dared to answer instead they all remain tight lipped and then suddenly with the encouragement of driyodana and karna dushasana approached draupadi and began to pull on her sari in an attempt to disrobe her in front of the royal assembly draupadi wailed for help but none assisted her and she finally in a desperate attempt called out to her beloved krishna o krishna lord of mathura lord of dwaraka my indweller where are you in my hour of distress they say you have a thousand eyes are you not watching what is going on what did i do to deserve all this my husband swore by the sacred fire to protect me and my honor Look at them now standing silently. You my lord are my only refuge and I surrender totally to you. It is now entirely up to you to protect my dignity. And then at that very moment an extraordinary miracle became apparent to the entire royal assembly. Draupadi sari which Dushasana had been pulling on seemed to extend continuously without end he tried and tried but the sari just grew and grew eventually dushasana became tired and had to quit as the infinitely long sari covered and protected draupadi it is said that krishna himself manifested before her and consoled her asking her to tie up her hair but Draupadi would not be silenced as Swami explained she cursed the Kauravas then and there that only their complete destruction would make amends to her insults the royal elders and the Kauravas quivered in fear on hearing this pronouncement Dhritarashtra in particular was horrified and at the counseling of Queen Gandhari He drew Draupadi aside profusely apologized to her and promised that he would grant any wish of hers Draupadi merely desired that her husband's be set free no more no less such was her dharmic conduct even under such circumstances Dhritarashtra gladly did as she asked and offered Draupadi another boon which she politely refused still feeling deeply remorseful dhritarashtra gave back to yudhistra and the bandava brothers 
all that had been won from him, including the kingdom of Indraprastha.